to ask a spiritual question, click on the wheel of Dhamma and ask, how does one settle karma? unwholesome karma, unwholesome deeds, the result is bound to be unwholesome for you. The seed that you sow, the fruit will be according to that seed. So at least stop sowing unwholesome seed. And then the law of nature is such, if you stop generating new impurities, the old will start coming up on the surface. And you are equanimous, they pass away, they come on the surface, they pass away. This is how you get rid of your old karmas also. But first important thing is stop generating new bad karmas. Just observe, just observe, and you are coming out of your misery. Can you learn Vipassana without attending the 10-day course? This is bargaining. And I come from a business family, half of my life spent in business, and I also started bargaining with my teacher. Sir, ten days, so difficult for me. How can I spare ten days? I am such a busy person. But understand, I am very intelligent also. Give me your technique. And I will practice at home. I can't spare ten days. And he just laughed. Not possible. How that one day, I stay with you one day, and you explain how to work. I will work at home. Not possible. It is the continuity of practice. When you join a camp from morning 4, 4.30 to night, 9, 9.30, only some intervals for your breakfast, for your lunch, etc., or some rest. Otherwise, continuity, continuity, continuity of practice, the secret of success, so far as the technique is concerned, to make the mind very sharp, very sensitive. Three days continuous work. And then to make the mind so subtle to feel all kinds of sensation, a few more days. And then to train the mind not to react, a few more days. Ten days is minimum. Don't hesitate. Give ten days of your life. Don't bargain. It is in your interest. You give ten days and get the best fruits. Every time I have to make a decision, I get lost and become anxious. I never know how to make a right choice. Come to Vipassana. This is what will help you. Your mind full of confusion. All the time hesitating. This is good. That is good. This is bad or that is bad. Mind is so wavering mind. By this technique you will find the mind has become very steady, stable and goes to the depth. Any problem that has come, you reach the depth of the problem, you get a solution, always a right solution and good solution. Why don't you charge for these 10 day courses? Can you give? Can you give any money for that? It is so invaluable. Dharma is so invaluable. Nobody can pay for it. So it is free. Not only the teaching is free, but these are all residential courses. People have to live there. So all boarding, lodging, everything is free. Then only there is a purity of Dharma. The moment one starts charging money for that, come, come, I will teach you this technique. For three days I will charge so many dollars. Seven days, so many dollars. If you come for ten days, so many dollars, then it becomes a commercial commodity. Dharma should never be made a commercial commodity, otherwise it will lose its purity. People, let them come and learn. And when they get benefit from it, at the end of the course, not all, but some of them who are comfortable, they make donation. Without anybody asking anything, they give donation, not for whatever they have learned. Donation having compassion for other people. As I was miserable, so many others are miserable. If they get this wonderful technique, certainly they will come out of their misery. So having compassion for others, one gives donation. And like this, courses after courses, centers after centers are built without charging anything. And the moment we start charging another difficulty, very poor people. In India, many of the courses, 
large number of poorest of the poor come to the course because they get so much benefit by it people very poor they get so le- less wage wages and yet out of that maximum goes away in alcohol and gambling taking these courses one ten day course or two ten day course out of alcohol out of gambling they can't gamble now they can't take alcohol it becomes impossible for them so whatever money whatever wage they get goes all for the livelihood of their family and the family members are all very happy and because the mind is now very calm quiet their capacity to work increases they get promotion in their wages so it is good if we start charging how these poor people will come how will they get dharma dharma is for all not only for rich people that is why from the tradition from the time of buddha no charges for the teaching of dharma please explain gross subtle and body and soul mere explanation in words won't help i say experience yourself if i say something you will try to understand at the intellectual level and intellect has its own limitation experience has no limitation you experience and everything will become so clear to you so clear to you and you will start understanding the law of nature look whether there is a gross sensation or subtle sensation when i react to this sensation i become miserable i become miserable that will become clearer and clearer so whatever philosophical belief you have got don't condemn them but for the time being just accept the reality that you are experiencing and everything else will become clearer and clearer what is the daily practice after one completes a 10 day course certainly you have to practice every day like you learn a physical exercise somewhere yoga asana or pranayam somewhere or any other physical exercise even jogging walking then you have to practice every day otherwise how can you keep your body healthy and strong so this is a mental exercise you learn for 10 days how to practice it then morning and evening you practice it and then whole day you see you are applying it in life merely practicing morning and evening will become a right or ritual that won't help how you are applying in life before coming to be persona how you are reacting to situations and now similar situation how you are facing it with equanimity or how much equanimity you keep on judging yourself whether you are really practicing vipassana properly or not during your practice do you still see a doctor do you get sick well if somebody is really sick then of course we call a doctor we are not against the doctors we don't want all the business of doctors to stop this is not our job but not necessary very rarely it happens any sickness and especially if there is a psychosomatic sickness automatically it goes away when the mind becomes healthier and healthier this kind of sickness cannot remain but if it is pure physical sickness physical ailment say a cancer is there one learns how to observe that without crying without becoming very miserable just accept the fact this pain this pain there are cases of very severe cancer terminal stage of cancer so painful indescribable in words and i have we have received information from the relatives about 20 such cases very severe pain of cancer and they don't take any sedative they just observe they just observe and pass away smilingly this is an art of dying and you learn art of dying only when you learn art of living if you can live peacefully and harmoniously and with equanimity you can die also smilingly smilingly so even if any pain is there in the technique the teacher will say not necessary to call a doctor but when there is something serious and a doctor is needed then yes doctor will be called can children learn vipassana can they attend a 10 day course or oh, no children cannot understand the depth of this technique so there are children courses being given for 3 days only learning the respiration awareness of respiration and that gives wonderful result to the children their memory becomes very sharp their capacity to understand the subject that is being taught becomes clearer and clearer and of course character building starts from that age and the whole life they live so peacefully so harmoniously 
I suggest always that the vipassana should be given to the children before birth. When they are in mother's womb, that is the proper time to give them vipassana. A pregnant mother, when she comes to attend a course, she does not come only for herself. She is coming for the coming child also. And the wonderful vibration of purity, wonderful vibration of free from craving aversion, wonderful vibration of love and compassion, that is the best nutrition the, mother, the child gets. And many pregnant mothers come to the course understanding very well the technique. They say, I want a Dhamma baby. I want a Dhamma baby. And they get Dhamma baby. And the child is so peaceful. Whole life only means so peaceful. What happens to your peace when someone in your life is always angry? This is the problem of this person. He is angry. Why take his problem on your head? You don't be angry. Let him be angry. You keep your balance and send metta, love, compassion for this person. If he starts harming you or harming others and you say, I don't mind, I am a Vipassana meditator, let anybody come and cut me like vegetable, I don't care. No, this is not dharma. Then you have to stop this person, taking all the strong action, physical, vocal, but first you have to examine within yourself, there is no anger, there is no hatred. You have compassion, a miserable person, ignorant person, doesn't know what he is doing, he is harming himself and harming others. But you have to take strong action because this person does not understand soft language, you have to take strong action. Nothing wrong in that. But first, a few seconds, first a good Vipassana meditator will examine what sensations I have now. And my mind is equanimous. And then it is full of love and compassion and you take strong action. Nothing wrong. Would you speak a bit more on addiction, smoking, alcohol, food, etc.? As I said, that the reaction is not to the outside object. The reaction is to the sensation. When somebody comes to the course and tells, I am an alcoholic, I have tried so many ways but I can't come out of it, please help me. I understand people got out of the 